All right, welcome in YouTube. It's Jeff Airtime Cards. I am going to be starting a series on Sports Illustrator for Kids cards. Um, really gaining traction in the hobby uh, ever since the mid 1990s when Tiger Woods uh, really put the the magazine the ca the cards from the magazines on the map. So in this series, I'm going to be taking a look at all 30 years of Sports Illustrated for Kids. It started in 1989, so with this being the beginning of 2019, it will be the 30th year of Sports Illustrated for Kids cards. So there will be 30 installments. Each, each installment will include, we'll look at all 12 months of the Sports Illustrated for Kids cards released that year. So by the end of this year, which will be 2019, that would be the 30th episode because of all 30 years um, of the magazine's releases. So without further ado, let's get this preview started. I'm going to show you some magazines here because in none of the episodes will I be showing full magazines. I will just be showing the, the cards that come from those magazines and a little backstory of some of them. So the first magazine I'm going to show you is the inaugural issue of Sports Illustrator for Kids. Here you see premier issue January 1989. It had Michael Jordan on the cover. And the cards featured uh, Steffi Graf, Larry Bird, among others as you can see, Flojo, Mario, Mario Lemieux. The second issue I'm going to show you, these are really just some of the more important issues uh, that I'm going to show you. The second issue is the very is the second release, February of 1989. And if the camera can focus, with Wayne Gretzky on the cover, and this issue has the Michael Jordan rookie card. Um, probably it's about a $25 to $50 card on eBay ungraded. The next issue I'm going to show you is from 1996, April of 1996. It's a pretty sought after issue as it has Ken Griffey Jr. on the cover as you can see and uh, Annika Soren Stan's rookie card. Possibly the greatest women, woman's golfer uh, of the LPGA. The next issue I'm going to show you is the totally Michael Jordan episode, uh, episode edition from March of 1999. Uh, the whole magazine is dedicated to Michael Jordan. As you can see, all nine cards are of Jordan. And of course, the poster was of Jordan with articles and stuff like that. Okay, so the next issue I'm going to show you is 1998. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, it's July of 1999. Any guesses as to who the big rookie is from 1998? If you're looking at all the sports, remember who broke in in 1998? There's your answer right there, Serena Williams. So this is the Serena Williams rookie card from Sports Illustrator for Kids. And as you can see, the, the issues have, whether you're a, a fan of the mainstream sports or the other sports, you, you, you're going to be covered in this whole series because you got Iditarod, Doug Swingley uh, race card right there. And of course, you got your regular, your football card, your basketball card, um, soccer, WNBA. So it really runs the gamut of, of the, the sports that are going to be featured in these videos. And this preview video is going to be long because I'm just I'm showing you magazines and, and uh, I'll be showing you individual cards of what we're going to be looking at. But I'm going to try to keep each video to around five minutes long. Um, so as to not to take up too much time and if you're a fan of one sport you'll see those without having to sit, sit through me rambling through other sports as well. Now this issue is no big shake but it is the most recent issue from January, February, they do a two-month issue, um, usually in the winter of this year, 2019. This was just released, 
And he, um, as you can see, Tiger Woods making another appearance um, in the most recent issue. And uh, here's, a, here's a tip for you. If you want the easiest 20 bucks you could ever make in your life, order this magazine or go to the newsstand and, and get it when it's released. Put these cards on a three-day auction on eBay or simply list them at a buy it now at, say, $3.50 each. I bet you dollars to donuts that you will sell at least six of these. For at least three dollars and fifty cents each, you'll make twenty-five bucks. That minus the four bucks you spend on the magazine, it'll be the easiest twenty bucks you've ever made in your life. Because as soon as these are released, everyone's looking for them. So just a little hint: if you if you'd like to make a little extra money for really not a whole lot of work, very easy to do so. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, moving on. Uh, the last full magazine that I'm going to show you is, of course, the Tiger Woods Rookie Magazine. Now, this issue is from 1996, uh, uh, December of 1996, and it's got the beautiful Tiger Woods right in the center. Uh, this copy I have is a gem mint condition Tiger Woods. You can see I usually keep it in, the, in acrylic and only took it out for this video. It came with a, a, a mailing cover, so even the the, um, the front page is, is beautiful mint, the spine is in beautiful condition, and when you flip through the card, the, the card sheet's in beautiful shape, and the most important thing when you're looking at this card, well, any of the cards, when you're looking to get them graded, is to see if you have perforations right along exact between the, the card you're looking at and the next card. As you can see this Tiger Woods card, the perforations are right along the lines um, for all four sides for each card. So if this card, uh, if, if I took it out, if I ri ripped it um, very carefully to send in for grading, there is a very good possibility of a perfect 10. Now, when I say very good possibility, I'm talking less than 5% chance. Because even though it looks gem to the eye, of course, you never know uh, when you're sending in to PSA or BGS. Um, just to give you an idea of what these cards are going for. Now, again, granted, this is Tiger Woods, so this is the only card from the whole issue that will go for a price like this. Let's take a look over here at current listings on eBay. Now you will see right at the top we have a, a one being offered at $149,000 in Gem Mint 10. Um, another one at $100,000 in Gem Mint 10. Obviously the sellers are taking best offer and they're, they're not going to get uh, that kind of a price. Although uh, there has been a couple instances where uh, I believe twice one of these in Gem Mint 10 have sold for six figures. So. It is certainly a possibility, especially if he really kicks it into gear again next year um, on tour like he did in 2018. You see another one there at 75000 There you see the whole magazine, which I was just showing you. Um, it looks like it's in excellent, beautiful condition. I just looked at it. Being offered for forty grand, and another one being offered, offered for twenty grand. So yeah, so it's really, really a great um, piece to own for investment purposes. I'm not saying all of these, if any of these Sports Illustrated for Kids cards will ever uh, gain um, value like the Tiger Woods has, but it's, it's really uh, interesting to note that um, non-mainstream cards can have such, such value. All right, moving on quickly, I'm just going to show you the three binders that we're going to be looking at covering the 30 years. This top binder here has 1989 through 1999. Uh, you see, you got, you got Michael Jordan, uh, basketball, you got track and field, you got tennis, you got swimming, um, you got hockey with Wayne Gretzky, you got every, every month, there's really good, there's each episode will feature cards for for everyone out there, uh, no matter what your preference is in collecting or, or sports. Uh, the second binder we're going to look at will be episodes 11 through 20. This binder has uh, 10 years of cards. 
Uh, there you see, um, again, more crazy sp sports cards. Uh, Hannah Teeter in snowboarding. Taylor Twellman in, in soccer. Uh, you'll see a Cristiano Ronaldo rookie. Neymar. There you see a, a second year, uh, a second SI Kids card of Tom Brady. So that'll be the 11th through 20th episodes as we look at 99 through 2009. And then the, the final 10 years, or there's nine years here yet to be released is the 2019 year. Um, you're going to see uh, there uh, uh, Brianna Stewart, one of the the best cards of re of recent vintage released by SI Kids, because um, she's, I mean, she's on track to to really break a lot of WNBA records. She uh, won all uh, won the title all four years for Gino Ariema in, in Connecticut, and is really doing big things in WNBA. So that's a big card there. But um, we'll see plenty of other big cards, too, as we, as we go through the years. So, YouTube, I really hope to have you along for this, this uh, series. I'm really looking forward to it. And, um, you know, I look to maybe point out some cards you haven't seen before and really just enjoy going through it with you. So, until then, YouTube, I appreciate you joining me and have a great day. Thanks for watching.